Hi everyone. Welcome back to my new tutorial. Today we are going to create curtain effect as in this clip. So let's start our tutorial. However, before we start, please pause for a few seconds and subscribe for my channel. Great, now let's move to our tutorial. Let's create a new composition with 1920 by 1080 and 20 seconds. Call it main. Background can be any color. Then create a new solid layer. Name it bottom curtain. Color is not a matter now. Select this layer, search for curtain effect in effects window. Double click on this effect. It applies effect immediately on the layer. Wow! With a click, we created our curtain. So cute and amazing correct? Press N to limit the work area on timeline. Press U for keyframes applied. Now it reveals evolution with default position of keyframes. Drag second keyframe outside of work area. Try changing default settings according to your choice. Press U to close open parameters. Hit P for position. Create a keyframe on first frame. Go forward for few seconds, drag Y position to move curtain almost upper end. Select both keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them. Perfect. Now, by selecting same layer, search Bezier Warp Effect. Double click to apply it, click on stopwatch of all parameters to create keyframes. Adjust bottom tangents and vertex to create more folding while curtain is at the bottom. Press U to show all keyframes. Bring all these keyframes to the first frame. Now move forward for few seconds, and readjust some of the bottom parameters to look like curtain came back to the default folding. Now again move forward till the curtain went up, and then make some changes on vertex and tangent. Perfect. Now we have created our bottom curtain. Hit U to close all parameters. Select same layer, and search for displacement map. However, it's optional. 
adjust few settings to create more depth at the bottom. Now, press Ctrl and D to create duplicate layer. Press Enter on new layer and rename it Top Curtain. Perfect. Now, let us make few changes to create new look for this upper curtain. Hope you are getting now how easy to create a curtain in After Effects. Perfect. Press P to reveal the position of both layers. Select bottom curtain layer, move first keyframe to 2 seconds. Adjust Y position of both curtains to look something like this. Now select top layer, and search for drop shadow. Double click to apply this effect. With this effect, we can create shadow for our top curtain. Adjust distance, softness, directions, and opacity according to your interest. Now, check all the effects we applied. Cool. Now let us create a frame for screen. Select rectangle from shape tool with color of your choice. Unselect fill and select stroke with solid color. Change the frame width. Now double click on shape tool to create new shape layer. Select shape layer, then search bevel alpha. Adjust few parameters. Now, observe the depth of frame, so cool, correct. Let's rename shape layer as frame. Press Ctrl, Shift, and C on this layer to create new pre-composition. Let us call it Frame. Go to Project Window, drag Texture Image onto the Timeline. Let us track mat it as Luma to create some rough look for the frame.
Now go to project window, drag movie clip onto the timeline. Press S and adjust the scale value. Rename it to screen movie. Duplicate it to cover our work area. Now let's reduce opacity of bottom curtain to give original see-through look on this curtain. Perfect. Now, go to project window, move an image on the timeline. We rename it as texture. Precompose it and call it texture for top curtain. Now, Select top curtain layer and search texture effect. Double click on it apply. Let us select our texture for top curtain layer as texture layer. Wow, check the effect. It looks like an elephant is embossed on curtain, correct? Cool. With this we almost done our tutorial. However, before we continue, Please pause for a few seconds and subscribe for my channel if not done yet. Thanks. Now let us create our point light to give our animation more interesting look. However, it is optional. Right click on layer window, select new, and then select light option. From light settings window, select point light and click OK. Please note light effects work only on 3D layers. So, let us make our curtains as 3D. If 3D switch is not visible, press F4 to reveal this mode. Adjust intensity of light else you will see more reflection of light on our curtains. Also, adjust Z position to move our light to and fro of our curtains until we proper effect. Now select both curtain layers, 
go forward to end of work area and press Ctrl, Shift, and D to split the layers. Delete unwanted portion of the layers. Now create new pre-composition for these layers. Let us name it curtains. Trim curtain layers also. Let us create duplicate layer of curtains layer. Move duplicate layer to the end of first layer in timeline. Then right click on this layer, select time, and then select time reverse layer option from options window. It will reverse all our animations. Well done. Our animation is completed. Press 0 for render. Thanks for watching. I hope you all like this tutorial. If so, please do me a favor by liking it. Finally, don't forget to share it and also to provide your comments below. For more tutorials, I will see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.